Mark felt his world crashing down around him as he sat stunned in the doctor's office. Just an hour ago, he had stopped by unannounced to bring his wife Jenny lunch, only to find her locked in a passionate embrace with her doctor, Dr. Miles. Shattered, Mark had stumbled out and driven around aimlessly, trying to make sense of the betrayal. How could Jenny do this to him after 15 years of marriage? They had built a life together, supported each other through so much. Or so he had thought. Pulling into the parking lot of Dr. Miles' office, Mark knew he had to confront them. He charged inside, barging past the receptionist. He found them sitting close together on the exam table, startled by his sudden entrance. Mark, what are you doing here? Jenny exclaimed. I should be asking you that question, Mark retorted. How long has this been going on? Dr. Miles stood up nervously. Now, Mark, let's talk about this dash. Shut up, Mark shouted. I wasn't talking to you. He turned back to Jenny. Well, how long have you been sleeping with him behind my back? Jenny looked ashamed, but lifted her chin defiantly. Six months, she admitted. I'm in love with him. Mark reeled, feeling like he might vomit. Six months of lies and deception in their marriage. Dr. Miles stepped forward, palms raised placatingly. Look, I know you're upset, but we can handle this like adults dash. With a roar of rage, Mark punched the doctor square in the face. Dr. Miles stumbled back, crashing against a tray of instruments. Mark shook with adrenaline, fists clenched. Jenny leapt to her feet. Mark, what the hell are you doing? She rushed to doctor. Miles sighed, gently probing his rapidly swelling eye. Mark backed out of the room, bumping into his stress nurse, who had arrived to see what the commotion was. His knuckles throbbed, but he had no regrets. A few days later, Mark sat across from Jenny and her lawyer, numbly signing the divorce papers. After 15 years together, just like that, it was over. In the months that followed, Mark tried to rebuild. He reconnected with old friends, pursued new hobbies, and focused on work. Occasionally, he would see Facebook updates from Jenny, gushing about her new relationship with Dr. Miles. Mark would quickly shut his laptop, fighting back nausea. One night, Mark joined some college buddies at a bar downtown. They were just about to leave when a petite, dark-haired beauty caught Mark's eye from across the room. She seemed familiar. When she noticed Mark, her eyes lit up with recognition. Mark? Is that you? She asked, making her way over. Rachel? Mark blinked in surprise. The last time he had seen her was at her high school graduation party years ago. Yeah, Rachel laughed. I haven't seen you in ages. How are you? As they caught up, Mark was amazed to realize that Rachel was now a graduate student at the local university. Even more surprising was how easy it was to talk to her. Her warm smile and twinkling eyes made him feel at ease. After exchanging numbers, Mark found himself thinking about Rachel constantly. It had been so long since he had connected with someone like this. One evening, he called her up with the idea for a casual dinner date. She happily accepted. Over dinner, Rachel revealed that she had just gone through a bad breakup herself. As they swapped stories and commiserated over their failed relationships, Mark felt the strongest sense of kinship with her. At the end of the evening, Mark walked Rachel to her car. Before she got in, on an impulse, he leaned in and kissed her goodnight. It was a simple kiss, but it resonated through his entire body. Just like that, with one kiss, Mark knew that he was falling for Rachel. Over the next few months, their relationship blossomed beautifully. Mark learned that Rachel shared his values, his dreams, even his quirky sense of humor. She accepted him completely, emotional baggage and all. He found himself confiding in her about his divorce in ways 
he had never opened up to anyone before. One night at dinner, Rachel took his hands, her eyes brimming with compassion. I'm so sorry for what you've gone through, but I want you to know my father is nothing like the man who hurts you. Mark's eyebrows shot up in surprise. Your father? Dr. Miles is my father, she explained carefully. Mark reeled in shock. This amazing woman that he was falling in love with was the daughter of the man who had destroyed his marriage. He had known her last name was familiar, but he'd never made the connection. Rachel hurried to fill the stunned silence. I in no way condone what my father did, and I totally understand if you don't want to see me anymore. Her voice broke, but please know that I am nothing like him, or like Jenny. I would never, ever do something like that to you. Seeing the sincerity in her eyes, Mark reached out and took her hand. I know you're not, he said softly, and strangely, it was the truth. Rachel was caring, honest, loyal, nothing like her father. Over the weeks and months that followed, Rachel continued to prove herself trustworthy. Mark realized that not all Miles' family members were the same. In fact, he was certain that he wanted to join the Miles family as Rachel's husband. On a picturesque hillside one evening, as the sun set in a blaze of orange and pink, Mark got down on one knee and proposed to Rachel. With joyful tears, she said yes. The road that had led them to each other was an unexpected one, with painful twists and turns. But in the end, Mark knew that it was all worth it. Rachel was his second chance at love, and he would cherish her heart forever.